Welcome to another edition of Gluten-Free Adventures. I'm Stephanie and welcome to my channel. I am non-celiac gluten sensitivity, which means I can't have gluten, but I'm okay with cross-contamination. And I'm checking out the top spots in Los Angeles and how to make them gluten-free. And if you're celiac, this is not for you. But if you can have cross-contamination like I can, here's a little hack. Today we're at Philippe's. Philippe's is the home of the original French dip sandwich and I love French dips. Philippe's doesn't have gluten-free bread, so a little hack, I brought my own bread. So let's go have a gluten-free Philippe's French dip. So for those of you who don't know, Philippe's is the original and claims to be the one that invented the French dip. And the story goes that a police officer came and the sandwich fell in the au jus by accident and then he said he had to go so he left quickly and then the next day brought back his police officer friends and that is what started the French dip. However, after doing a little research, there's also some articles about how the French dip evolved from being just meat and bread on a French roll to meat with cheese on a French roll and the dipping. So. Who knows, but there. this is the place that claims that started the French dip. What I know about Philippe's is I have definitely had it pre-diagnosis, but it's been a really long time. So I thought, okay, how can we go to places that I used to love to go to? We used to come here when I was a kid before a Dodger game and get French dip sandwiches and take them with us. So I thought, okay, there has to be a way. What am I going to do since they don't have anything gluten free? But I do know that they can serve it just the meat with the cheese and the au jus. So I went to a local gluten free bakery. I got a panini roll and that's what we're going to try it with. So let's head in. Here is a gluten-free panini roll that I got at a gluten-free bakery near me. So they serve it when you don't get it with the bread. They just serve it on a little plate and I asked for a bigger plate. Let's put the meat on the bread. Voila. Here is my sandwich on gluten-free bread. Let's taste. So I got beef with jack cheese. So it's dry. But I have my cup of au jus. So let's dip and taste. Alright, there it is dipped in the corner. You guys, that's incredible. It's a little bit different because it's not on French roll. You can get it here with 
I think sourdough, the French roll, rye, there's different options. This is not a French roll from the bakery, so it's a panini roll, so it's a little bit different of a bread taste, but the meat, the cheese, and the sauce is so good. The, the sauce is warm, just like I remember it. Let's try another bite. The meat is really tender. It's like it breaks apart in your mouth really easily. It's not chewy at all, which I think is so important for a French dip. You don't want chewy meat, but the overall taste, it's with the exception of the bread being the, ta the taste of the bread is a little sweeter than a French roll. I think the taste is almost like I remember it. So the beef costs $11.95 and it's 60 cents for cheese and I got jack cheese. So $11.95, the 60 cents for the jack cheese and then I got this roll for $3 at my bakery. This hack of being able to have Philippe's feels like so nostalgic for me and it's so, guys, it is so good. So if you've been dying to try it or you had it as a kid or before you were diagnosed, you can come, just bring your own bread. They have bread at, they have rolls at different places like Sprouts and and whatnot, and so you can get a roll and bring it, and then it costs a little bit more, but when does it not for gluten free? But I would say if you want to have beliefs, this is the way to go. I would highly recommend it. And if you're visiting town and you're okay with cross contamination, and you, it's not as good when you just have the bread and the meat, it's just not. But to be able to have this combo and have it be safe for me is. It's good. It's a, it's a 10 out of 10 for sure. So thank you for joining me and please take a moment to like and subscribe and I will see you on my next adventure.